castle so i'm starting off with some sweet potato chickpea curry i put a little bit of grapeseed oil a little to coat the whole pan and then i added about half of a onion chopped onion and let the onions get translucent and when that was translucent i put in some garlic powder two tablespoons of ginger and i let that cook a little and once it was done cooking a little more i put in some cumin as well as some turmeric and let that mix a little and by the way for the specific measurements they will be down in the description box and to make sure they didn't stick to the pan i put a little water just a tad bit and then right here i added my actual curry and then put a little more water so that it wouldn't stick. You want it to be like a paste-like texture. And then I put in my sweet potatoes, about one sweet potato diced. And let that cook for about two or three minutes just to make sure those sweet potatoes are coated with the curry. Next, we're gonna pour in one can of coconut milk, just regular old plain coconut milk, and one can of diced tomatoes. I love coconut milk and diced tomatoes so much. And mix that up a little bit, and then you're gonna let it simmer. Once it's done simmering for a little bit, give it a little bit of more of a mix, and then cover it so that it can get, you know, it can start bubbling or whatever. So once it starts bubbling, you're gonna mix it some more. The key to this is just to mix to make sure the sweet potatoes don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Pour in one can of chicken pea curries after about 10 minutes and then I had about one cup of frozen kale you can use any green you have if you have spinach you can use spinach but I personally love kale so I use kale and then I put in about two table two tablespoons of flour just to make it thick this is optional though you don't have to and then you can use any flour to make it thick if you like a thinner curry you can also you know just do that and then to season it up we'll add more seasonings i just added more salt and pepper this wasn't necessary i just really like my stuff to be extra extra seasoned and this is the final product <laughs> chicken alfredo all vegan <laughs> but I cooked the noodles and just a tip if you don't want your noodles to stick together uh, you can put a little bit of oil and salt to like season the water or whatever and yeah so next I cut up an entire bell pepper as well as half of an onion and I yeah I'll let you watch me cut <laughs> Once I was finished cutting, I put a little bit of frying oil into my pan, just about like two spoons of my little wooden spoon. And I put in the onions first to make sure they could get translucent. And once the onions were a little translucent, I did throw in some mushrooms, which you'll see in a bit. <laughs> I threw in the mushrooms so that they could cook because mushrooms cook super fast and then once those were done as well I threw in my bell peppers or my sliced bell pepper um, I also another tip is if you like a little spice definitely leave the bell pepper seeds in your mix if not like if you don't like spicy stuff don't use the, the seeds just a little tip there and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper just you know real quick before I put all the other seasonings in um, season with some salt and pepper and then here I'm using garden chicken strips it says teriyaki but I didn't use a teriyaki sauce because it was an alfredo so the teriyaki sauce is honestly still in my fridge but um, here I'm making the meat and it honestly is just heating it up or whatever but now I'm making the sauce for the alfredo and I just use one cup of soaked cashews as well as one can of coconut milk and then right here I'm just squeezing a lemon into my hand like half of a lemon just to make sure the seeds didn't get in there sprinkling in some pepper I put a little bit of salt and cayenne pepper and that was pretty much it blended that and put that in the mix with the vegetables 
After pouring in my Alfredo sauce, <laughs> I ended up letting it cook for about two to three minutes. And then once it was done cooking for about two to three minutes, this is how it looked. And then I poured about one and a half cups of my pasta sauce, or not pasta sauce, pasta water into the mix. Trust me, it definitely changes the game. It, it just gives it that oh, that it needs. And then I put in the noodles. I didn't put in all the noodles, just, you know, some because I wanted to make sure I still had a little creamier texture to the mix. And mix that up, let it cook for about five more minutes, and then voila, it was done. Well, I also put some red chili pepper flakes on top, and this, what, it, it, it just made it all the better. And it was cute. So this is the final product. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely stay tuned for all my vegan videos that I post every Wednesday and Saturday at 2 p.m. And yeah, thank you guys. Take care. Bye.